Um, my name is Steve Hunt and my magazine is For The Win. Uh, for my AS Media we had to create a music magazine and um, we had to choose a certain target audience to aim at and my target audience was aimed at people 15 to 20 plus so um, I decided to look into major influences into um, purchases that they made and um, my certain influences such as um, social networking. Uh, pressure from peers and friends, fashion and styling, um, celebrity life and culture, television, fast food, leisure life, and music. Um, the magazine was aimed at youth, so I tried to include themes that are present in their day-to-day -day life and images that fit well. The magazine is also aimed at electro-slash-rock electro fans, so I've made that evident in my work. On the cover of my magazine, my image is of a uh, of the model breaking through a barrier plant lash you can get to the other side. The image will make it look quite dark to satisfy the rock and rock music influences within my magazine. The contents page has a large rainbow graffiti in the background to show the bright electro side and also the nonconformist um, side of the graffiti. Um, yeah, like I said before, my magazine is age aimed at um, people 15 to 20 plus, which are also known as the um, skins or digital age. Um, most young people are a part of a um, social networking group or watch a lot of television so I looked into those sorts of influences to um, help start on my magazine. Um, the bright colours and unusual style of a magazine are generally seen in the indie kid culture and though I've used darker images to help fuse the um, uh, indie kid and electro and rock scene together. Most of my readers from my magazine um, most readers thought my magazine was for electro indie kids, um, which could probably seen from the suggested articles retro or no, as things like retro are issues important to um, electro indie kids. Most readers were attracted um, by my magazine's colour and photography. These were factors that I noted in a survey Monkey made before production of my magazine, so I tried to include them to help attract a large audience. Another factor that influenced people's um, purchase was the feature artists, artist or artists. So I used a model that was in the same age range as the target audience so they could relate to her. Um, coding conventions of my magazine. On the front page of my magazine, I flouted the, the, um, if the, I've written that one, the left um, third rule because I didn't want to overload my magazine with lots of other articles and vote and just focus mainly on the actual model, though I do have information of featured bands at the bottom of the magazine. Uh, I create the house staff in the magazine by using blacks and reds in the text to tie um, the magazine together. I didn't put a quote from the artist on the front, but I did write a short sentence um, saying something uh, about what the artist is like. Um, these are just some of the um, things that I've kept in my magazine, like um, at the top you have the logo, masthead, um, the main image. Um, I have featured band names at the bottom. On my DPS, which is the one in the middle, you have quotes and of course the main um, article text and pictures. Um, and then for my um, contents, you have uh, the page header and um, the magazine contents list. And I also included quotes that were from uh, just people that had been to for you by the magazine previously. And that's it so far. Okay, thanks for that, Steve. Um, can we just have a look again at your front cover? Um, yeah. It's, um, well, there. I didn't have Do time to make it. full screen with it? Uh, so. yeah. All right, good. Um, looking at the front cover, yeah. uh, certainly at that size that it is now, are there any things you would change? Um, the black text, I really wanted black text, but I do realise that it was quite hard to see against the dark green, um, which is uh, just not very good, so it's going to be harder for the reader to yeah. read actually what's said in there. Uh, looking back, sort of, do you think maybe your DPS and your contents is stronger than your front cover? Yeah, they're a lot brighter and a bit more colourful, whereas the contents is really kind of subdued. Mm, mm, okay. What social groups are represented in your magazine, would you say? Um, the front page, I would say punks or people that aren't rock music, but like, 
the contents page is a lot brighter for maybe electro indie kids. But How are they represented? So if you look at you, if you go to the next slide where we've Sorry. got the double page spread and the contents. What, how, how, how are certain social groups represented? Um, well, uh, the content page, like I said, be the bright colours. And um, in the uh, picture just there, mm -hmm. you've got... Um, uh, one thing is the moles wearing red braces, which is actually a clothing item which isn't seen a lot, so it's kind of like unusual and quirky, like electro or indie kids. And it's not related to a certain music trend or genre, the clothes. The clothes, um, actually the braces are, um, oh, sorry, I heard a magazine, there's this band um, actually called The Braces, and it's because they went these braces, and because they're an unusual fashion item, and they're unique and different, okay. and um, like the DPS, um, the only image that could be the slightly funky was um, the model, uh, you just get the image that she is kind of unknown, alone and isolated, whereas the rest of it. It's very colourful. And you have the dead bunny brush on the floor and the pierced tart. So the social group represented in your magazine would be punks, young punks. Yeah. Okay. And the target audience for your group, for your magazine? Was um, people that like punk or electro, like aged 15 to 20 plus. Okay. Audience feedback. What sort of questions did you ask? Did they identify the genre of your magazine? Um, yeah, sorry. If you give me a moment. Um, I asked them, like what genre they thought my magazine catered to and they said um like mostly um most people said electro and some people said indie kids and uh, things like that okay so electro isn't punk though really is it no i wanted to try and combine the two because they're usually seen as opposing forces but sometimes you can bring two forces that seem opposing and put them together to make something really good sure okay all right uh question where would you find your magazine, and who would be its biggest competitor? Because it's very unusual, you would probably find it in maybe a small news agent. It's not like um, a big superstore. Possibly in um, it's called somewhere like H and B. And competitors would probably be something like I'd say Mix Mag for the colour, but um, the actual article is something like Enemy. Um, what do you think was the best question you asked on Survey Monkey, the most helpful to you? Um, it was definitely about what genre it caters to, just so I could know from my work what people, act, like what demographic would actually buy it. Did you use any other magazines for guidance or inspiration? Um, for the front cover I used uh, Rock Sound because um, the images are generally a lot darker, though there is a little bit of an injection of colour. So it's kind of like in the middle between over the top and quite subdued. What have you learned about technologies from the process of constructing this product? Um, using Photoshop to like take an image and cut certain parts out of the image and stick it into another image, things like that. And um, although I didn't use airbrushing on this one, I did like in a few previous sketches that I did. And looking back at your CD cover, the very first thing you did this year, uh, looking at your progression, um, what do you feel you've learnt most? Um, What's been the biggest learning curve? Well, it's just that the CD cover was very simplistic. Um, I just gained more confidence in using Photoshop and um, just generally being able to use the tools better because before I didn't really use any of the tools, I just put some pictures on, maybe changed a bit of the colour and that was about it. Okay, thanks very much.